Adrian. Oh, well, it's got some weirdo. It's me, Adrian. Oh, long yeah, time no see, man. I haven't seen you since Mrs. Levin's class back in Carpenter Primary. What's it been? Eight, nine years now? Nine years, two months. Shit, man. Mate, we used to be best friends, man. Do you remember when we hid the pages of Mrs. Levin's novel just to fuck with her? <laughs> Mate, the way I see it, it was her fault anyway, you know? No one leaves an unaccompanied novel in a room full of ten year olds. And anyway. Every English teacher's dream is to be a published author, but the fact that they are an English teacher just goes to show you that they're probably shit at it. We should catch up at some point, man. I just moved into a new apartment, actually. You should come round this weekend. Uh, Saturday, right. Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Saturday afternoon, four o'clock, yeah? Take that, I've got to run. Tell you what I do have. I've got this health smoothie I made this morning. I mean, it smells like shit, but the taste isn't that offensive, and it's good for you. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'll just have water. Water? Yeah, yeah. Sure, I can manage that. You don't know what you're missing out on, though. I tell you, this stuff cleanses your body and your soul. Ugh. So anyway, how have you been? You're very, very quiet. Yeah, sorry man. Yeah. Don't apologise, I just want to make sure you're all alright. So, how was school, you know, college, how was it? How did you do? Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah, fine. I, I, I got mostly A's. Yeah. Mostly A's? Yeah. I mean, that's fantastic, man. I mean, I got, I got, E's and E's, but I got through. So what? You're still living with your parents? Uh, Just my father. Really? What happened to your mum? Uh, she, she's gone. Car crash. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I really am. What's it like living with your dad? Fine. Fine, yeah. Fine. I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but from my memory, he had a bit of a short temper. To be quite blunt, he was a nasty old bastard. Is he still like that? Jonathan, is he still like that? Fuck it, look. When I ran into you the other day, it wasn't a coincidence. I've been tracking your habits for the past few weeks and well, I knew exactly where to find you on a Thursday afternoon. You see, I know about your mum. 
I know the way your dad treats you. I mean, how can you just sit there and let him treat you the way he does? Uh, how? It's pretty obvious, mate. Some people take weeks to get over the death of a loved one. Some people, months. But everyone recovers, Jonathan. You shut yourself away for years after your mum died. You haven't had any real friends. You don't say or do enough to warrant any real enemies. Now, some people I know, they confirm this for me. They see the way he treats you, how miserable he makes you. I want to introduce you to my friends. You see, they, they follow a different set of rules, a different order. We believe in indulging in whatever you feel like indulging in. We believe in crushing anything and everything that stands in your way. No, life's too short, Jonathan. Life's too short for abusive fathers and self-harm. Why should it be that way for you? And the best part, well, the best part is we take everyone. We want you. We think you would be the perfect candidate. We want to save your existence. Now, what should we do about your father? You don't know what you're missing out on, though. I tell you, this stuff cleanses your body and your soul. Oh. So anyway, how have you been? At least try and help him, mate. You can't just stay locked in there all day. I can't go out there. What happened to your mum? She's gone. Car crash. It's strange that I never observed until this moment how dreary a sound that a word has. Alone. Self-pity has gotten the best of me. All I ever wanted was to be great. I think there's a very high possibility that even Mr. Newton here would agree with that we wouldn't find ourselves in the predicament that we're in right now. When I ran into you the other day, it wasn't a coincidence. I've been tracking your habits for the past few weeks and well, I knew exactly where to find you on a Thursday afternoon. You sit there with your indoor sunglasses and your highbrow textbooks waiting for some white knight to come and sweep you off your feet. You need to understand that that's not how the real world works. <laughs> <laughs>